go to projects, create a new project, go to HTML slash CSS, and then you can choose one of these provided templates or you can create your own project. Let's click HTML slash CSS project. What you're going to want to do first is go up to the top navigation bar and then select the word untitled and rename your project. Let's name this project Hiking Adventures and then hit the return key on your keyboard to save. This is the editor. It's where you're going to edit your code. So if we wanted to, we can go up here and change this to something like my hiking adventure web page. And it can be whatever you want. I mean, you can have fun with it. Name it my coding adventures, my sporting adventures, just make it your own. So here we can say something like, here's a story about my adventures in the mountains. And then notice our changes are automatically updated. Now let's look at this .css file over here. Let's select it and then use this snippet button up here. Go to CSS because we're in our CSS file and then let's select element type selector and then select insert. Notice our paragraph font size got larger. Let's see what happens if we change our font size to 20 pixels. Now our text is smaller. So think of CSS as a language that describes the style of an HTML document. Now let's go back to our HTML file and let's select this image icon and then find a hiking themed picture like this one right here. So once you find a picture that you want, what you're going to do is left click on the image and then notice it automatically appears in our side panel. From there, you can select the image file scroll down and then use either the HTML or CSS syntax. So I'm going to copy the HTML syntax here, go back to my HTML file and paste it. And now we can see our image appears. You can even undo and redo changes with these buttons. Now say that you came to a good stopping point, uh, but you're not ready to publish your project yet. What you're going to do is make sure that this save icon is green, indicating that your project is updated and saved. And if it's not, you're going to select it so it can save it. And now that it's green, I'm going to go click this back arrow to go back to our dashboard and then go to projects and then scroll down to find our project. And then you can select this pencil to go back and pick up where you left off. And there it is.